There's a lot of strategies and tips and tricks and hacks out there to show you how to grow your following on Instagram. However, these two secrets, these two tips, they're basically just very obvious things that I'm going to show you, but I'm gonna explain why these two things are the most important things that you can be thinking about and that you can understand if you want your following to absolutely explode on Instagram. Let's jump straight in. There's no need for an intro here. We wanna get straight to the good stuff. So I'm gonna get myself a little brush tool and I'm gonna make sure that's rasterized so I can draw on it and we're ready to go. I might go for a darker color down here as well. If you just bear with me one second, probably should have done this before we turn the screen on, but we're, we're going and the good, good content's gonna come. So on the left on this graph, and this is, if you follow this channel for beautiful graphs, you're definitely in the right place for that. We're going to go uh, beauty over practicality for sure. But on the left here, R, this is for your reach. This is how many people your posts reach on Instagram. When you post a piece of content, it can reach one person, it can reach no people, it can reach up to two billion people. There's two billion people on Instagram. Don't know if any posts actually done that, but it can reach a couple million people pretty easily with these secrets in mind. Down here, this is your actual content that you're creating. So these are your contents gonna go across the bottom. So if you create one post, two posts, three posts, four posts, five posts, and for the life cycle of your business or your personal page, you're gonna create a few thousand posts, uh, maybe more, maybe tens of thousands of posts over the next few years. Now, what the secret is here, what these two secrets, the first one is understanding the distribution of reach for your content. Now, what you'll actually find and if you go through anyone's page, so if you can go to some random page, you can go to a competitor's page, you can go to your page, you can go to my page, you can go to McDonald's's page, uh, any page you want, you'll see the distribution of reach per post looks something like this. Now let's spend an extra second to make this graph not so terrible and we'll switch the color up a little bit. And what you'll find is say, uh, let's, let's do this. If this is 1 million people reached up here, and this is 100 people reached down here, and say you have about 1,000 followers, your reach is gonna look like this. It's gonna be pretty consistent around 100, it may pop up to about 1,000, and it's gonna be down here. And you'll notice that for every piece of content you post, there's a bandwidth, a reach bandwidth, that it gets stuck within. However, every now and then you'll have a breakout moment, a breakout piece of content. It's like Britney Spears having a breakout song that sort of makes her own her whole career. If you had to name a song by Britney Spears, you'd probably name, I don't know, I named Toxic. Uh, but uh, there's, there's ones earlier on in her career that really actually shaped her as a singer. And they're the ones that people remember. I don't know why I went for Britney Spears. It's not a topic I am well versed in, and uh, as you can see. But for example, maybe your 25th piece of content is your breakout piece of content. And what it actually does is it actually reaches a million people. For some reason, that timing, that piece of content on the right day reaches a million people. And this is where the vast majority of your followers come from. This is where the vast majority of people who discover your profile come from. And it's not these little ones, these little baby uh, posts that only reach the expected amount of people, but it's those runaway posts. And like I said, you can go and see this on anyone's profile right now. It may not be a million, but it may just be 10 times the normal amount of your actual reach or, or the actual likes that you get or the actual comments you get. It's gonna actually explode and take off in the algorithm. So the key here is the consistency. The secret here now is the consistency. It's very hard to predict which post actually does this, but if you're consistent and you keep posting new things and trying different things, you're going to hit a home run, which is gonna drive 80% of the growth on your page, even though it's only going to be about 20, 10 to 20% of your actual posts. Uh, and these ones are the gold. So this is secret number one, is stay consistent and test a lot of different things until you run into this gold here. Now, I'm gonna change color once more. It's got a mosquito in my face, not, not ideal, but we're gonna push through. So, number one is to be consistent and post more content. The more content you post, the more likely you are to hit one of these home runs that make all your time worth it. Number two, however, is hacking a little bit more. It's not just post more content, even though that's gonna absolutely blow up your account. Number two is the cool thing about uh, these runaway posts is they're the ones that hit the algorithm perfectly. 
and you're trying to hit the algorithm perfectly every time to improve your reach, to get more people to follow you, to improve your engagement and all your other posts and then improve their reach. It's a very uh, symbiotic, self-fulfilling loop that's gonna be very helpful. So number two is to actually realize that you can access these home run posts. We're gonna call these home run posts. You have the ability using your Instagram app right now to go on there and access the home run posts in your niche. All you have to do is you have to go and you type in the hashtag or you type in the word or the topic, say you're in the fitness niche, you type in hashtag fitness and you can see on the trending page, the top nine trending fitness photos, they're right there for you. And that's what Instagram want. They know that people want these to see these home run posts and they'll display them for you. They'll put them in everyone's newsfeed algorithm. They'll put them in everyone's discover um, tabs. And what you can actually do is you can go and you can see for your niche what everyone else is slogging away trying to hit these home runs and they finally do. You can go and hand pick and understand what made these home runs. Tip number two is to go and model success. Go and see what already the algorithm favors, what the algorithm loves, and then model that. Don't copy it. We don't want to rip people off, but bring it back to your niche. Make it uh, personal, make it uh, customized for your audience, and then repost it, and you'll see it may not even be a home run, but it may just be three or four times more engagement becomes your average now because you're actually posting the right stuff that's proven to do well with the algorithm. These two tips, post more often, post more consistently, and you hit more home runs, and then curate your content. Go and see what's already hitting the home runs and model that for yourself. If you wanna know how to beat the algorithm more consistently, click the link in the bio. It's a free YouTube video showing exactly how to hack your photo exposure so you get more people viewing it every time you post on top of these two strategies. Also, make sure you hit the like button below and the subscribe button if you wanna see more videos like this. Thanks very much. I'll see you in the next one.